Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe for more updates. Today, we're diving into the latest Iraqi Dinar news. Here's what's been happening recently with the Intel Group. Newshound, Intel guru MNT Goat reports that the Central Bank of Iraq, CBI, has a timetable for its financial reforms and is following it closely. The target for the reinstatement of the Iraqi dinar is now set for early 2025. According to MNT GOAT, everything the CBI is working on from now until the end of the year is aligned with this goal and is progressing according to plan. These steps are geared towards stabilizing the currency and preparing the ground for the anticipated changes in Iraq's financial system. Frank 26 reports that the ready nomination of the Iraqi dinar is essentially complete. Sudani, the Prime Minister of Iraq, has it ready, but now we're just waiting for the new exchange rate to be announced. The ready nomination will involve swapping out larger 30 trillion dinar notes for smaller, lower denominations. When large amounts of money are taken out of circulation like this, it causes deflation which can increase the value of the currency. This ready nomination is crucial for Iraq, as it seeks to return the dinar to its nominal value, similar to what it was before international sanctions severely devalued it. Along with the currency ready nomination, Iraq will also need a normalized exchange rate a one that accurately reflects the state of its economy, rather than the current suppressed rate. All the other assets and variables in Iraq's economy are expected to align with this ready nomination, forcing the dinar back to its true worth. Meanwhile, there's been other exciting news out of Iraq. Intel Group Mazi shared the Turbul recently transferred 77 billion Iraqi dinars to Baghdad's treasury. This move suggests that the long-awaited hydrocarbon law, HCL, could be activated soon. The HCL has been a crucial element in resolving Iraq's oil revenue disputes, and this transfer of funds could mean that the law is about to be finalized. However, the Iraqi government seems to be keeping these developments quiet until they're ready to make an official announcement. Now, let's talk about a personal experience I had with Huntington Bank. I went to a branch in Pennsylvania, funded my account with a small amount of money, and inquired about purchasing Iraqi dinars. They sell the dinar at the program rate, which isn't too special, but the fact that they're offering it at all is a big deal. I felt great about it and later called my friend in Indianapolis to see if his local branch sold dinars as well. He confirmed that they do, which was surprising, given that Huntington Bank never sold dinars before. It seems like they're preparing for something bigger. In other financial news, the Ministry of Finance, in cooperation with the Central Bank of Iraq, announced a new issuance of government bonds. These bonds are available in two categories, a 500,000 dinar bond with an annual interest rate of 6.5%, payable every six months for two years, and a 1 million dinar bond with an annual interest rate of 8.5%, payable every six months for four years. The sale of these bonds runs from October 14 to November 13, 2024. On Thursday, Prime Minister Mohammad Shia al Sudani met with a delegation from the Russian oil company Luke Oil to discuss ongoing projects and cooperation in Iraq. The delegation provided an update on the company's operations in the West Kuna II and Radu oil fields. Al Sudani emphasized that the Iraqi government prioritizes the development of the oil industry and increasing the country's production capacities. He highlighted the importance of implementing development projects to boost revenues, particularly by transitioning to the production of petroleum derivatives and petrochemicals, leveraging Iraq's robust oil infrastructure, especially in extraction, 